Hey guys, I'm Simeon Panda. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so uh, this is uh, probably, I would say it's the third installment of my nutrition series. There were some previous nutrition videos that I did, but um, they're older. These, these are the new nutrition videos that I've been doing. Today, I'm going to shoot me cooking one of my favorite meals. Uh, and it's uh, one of the meals that I like making most. It's a great meal. It's a uh, lasagna. Uh, and little fun fact for you guys, uh, Italian is, mm, see, I was gonna say it's my favorite food, but I like seafood too. So it's, uh, it's, it's between the two. It's between, uh, between seafood and Italian food is my favorite. So I'm gonna make you a lasagna. Now my lasagna is different from the lasagna you get in the store or in your restaurant. I would personally say it's much better. In fact, I've never had a lasagna at a restaurant that beats mine. And that's not me just boasting and saying mine's the best. There, there's, there's a reason behind it, you know. Um, you're gonna see when I make mine, why mine is completely different to a lasagna you'll get in a um, regular restaurant, wherever. Um, also, mine's gonna be healthier. So I do, uh, what, one thing I'm very keen on is letting you guys know you can make all the foods that you want in a healthier way. So you're gonna notice that with how I make my lasagna, there's gonna be a few little substitutes and uh, little things that I do that make my lasagna healthier than a typical lasagna you'll get in a store. To start with, I'm using turkey mince. Now, typically when you make a lasagna, you would use beef, and that beef mince would probably have about 15 to 20% fat. Uh, I'm using uh, turkey mince, which is also organic turkey mince, and it's 93% um, lean, so uh, it's only got about seven grams of fat, so there's a big difference there already. Um, you can actually get 99% um, lean ground beef with the breast, sorry, ground turkey breast, and that is a 99% fat free. So, uh, but yeah, we've got this one. And I'm gonna actually go through all the ingredients. Let me show you all the ingredients that we're gonna be working with today. Another thing that I'm sure you weren't expecting to see in a lasagna, olives, yep. When we, when we shop here, Shan and I like to go organic with as much things as possible, simply because um, the regulations here with foods are non-existent <laughs> you know they're like completely complete contrast to how things are in the uk you know so um back in the uk although we did try and buy organic it wasn't as a uh, bigger concern for us as it is over here because over here um the pesticides and all the other the, the meat the, the 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 antibiotics the hormones all the crazy stuff that goes into food here we're trying to uh, uh mitigate as much as we can so we're going organic which is not cheap you know so um uh, it's, it's as much as I could say, try and go organic. I know the stuff is expensive, real expensive. So you do what you can. But yeah, we tried to go organic. With, I've tried to go organic with all these ingredients. Uh, so we've got the tomatoes there. For our white sauce, we're gonna be using almond milk and we're gonna be using Parmesan cheese and mozzarella, but very little, very little, not too much, you know? Okay, so we have the mozzarella there. Parmesan, spar sauce, and uh, red peppers and spinach, organic spinach and organic peppers. Uh, with your peppers, guys, um, I always tend to go for the red, orange, or the yellow. I avoid the green. Trust me, if you just cut them up and eat them raw, you'll see that the red is the sweetest, and the others are quite sweet, like the yellow and the orange, but the green, for me, just isn't sweet at all. So these are the colors that I normally go with. Now, guys, when I told you that I don't add salt to my food, a lot of you got confused and I think you thought that I meant I don't season my food, which is outrageous. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be seasoning uh, the uh, meat and we have some thyme here. We have some oregano. We have some rosemary, love rosemary. It's one of the best um, herbs that I, I like. And uh, basil as well, so. Oh, and black pepper, can't forget that. Now, I would be, if I was making this and Shan wasn't eating it, it would have tons of garlic, tons of garlic. I don't even think there's a limit to how much garlic you can put in food. But because Shan, um, not that she doesn't like garlic, she's intolerant to it, so, and it gives her a reaction, I'm not gonna be using much of it. I'm gonna put a little bit, and that is gonna be in the form of some garlic flakes, which I'm gonna add to the sauce. So, uh, yeah, so she can still eat it. Those are my ingredients. Let's get cooking. Okay, so uh, the way I do my cooking is a bit erratic. You know, there's no like a uh, set pattern of do this, then do this, then do this. So if you're gonna follow along, you're gonna just have to follow the way that I do it. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna start with my peppers. I'm gonna get my peppers cut. Uh, one of the main things um, that is different with my lasagna, as I said, I'd mention, is uh, I like it to be chunky. When I say chunky, 
I mean, um, I like big pieces of vegetables, like so big chunks of peppers. My olives, I'm only gonna half, if they're not halved already, you know, I'm not gonna like slice them down too much. Um, I might even put them in, nah, they're too big to put in whole, but I'm gonna definitely half them. Cause I like, I like something substantial when I'm eating my lasagna, you know, like the mushrooms are gonna be like big slices, you know. I can't wait to show you guys how I cut onions cause uh, Shan's been mocking me for a lifetime about how I cut onions. I think I cut onions fine. Yeah, and um, while I'm doing this, let me just advise you guys, you can make most foods in a healthier way. Most foods, whether it's a stir fry, whether it's a lasagna as I'm making or a bolognese, you know, any, anything really, you can just, there's, there's healthier alternatives. So do not think that um, eating healthy means eating chicken breast and asparagus every day. With, with rice, you know. Um, there's, just, there's plenty of ways to eat healthy and eat the foods that you actually like in a healthier way. Spinach is so deceiving because as much as it looks like it's substantial, like it's a big batch, soon as it starts to cook, it just shrinks, like, like real small. So I'm gonna keep it like that while I cut these stem bits off. Yeah. Get rid of that. Mmm, that smells nice. Okay, so we've got our spinach, we've got our peppers. Let's just wash our mushrooms. Forgot to put that out when I put the ingredients out. Organic mushrooms. There we go. And as I said, with the olives, they're quite big, so um, we will half them. If they were the smaller kind, I would have put them in whole. You know, it's nothing like here. Uh, oh, and by the way, I purposely got these olives with, and they're stuffed with jalapenos, so we're gonna have a little bit of spice in our uh, lasagna, which you also don't get. People add black pepper, but that's not really spice, is it? That's not gonna give it much heat. I'm tempted to put a scotch bonnet in it, but I um, don't think Shan would like that. Oh, that's good. Oh, they're the best. Oh, that's so good. If you guys have seen my old video, my old nutrition video, you know I love olives. Love olives. And these are some good olives, man. These are gonna give it such a kick. Such a kick of flavor, man. So many um, lasagnas I've had are bland. Bland. All you're tasting, you're barely tasting meat because they hardly put any in. And then it's just a load of cheese and, you know, nah, this is gonna be awesome. All right, this is our veg. Okay. Come over, come over. Let's do this, come over. Okay, so we're using olive oil to cook. I always use olive oil. I use coconut oil as well. Um, if you guys, a lot of you might not like this. Shan didn't like it when I made it, but I use coconut oil to make scrambled eggs and it adds this like, you know, coconut flavor to the eggs. I like it, Shan didn't, but you might wanna try that out, guys. So yeah, we're gonna use olive oil, not too much. And where's our mince? So all we want to do with the mince is just brown it. Like uh, when the lasagna is cooking in the oven is when it's really going to cook, you know? So we're just going to brown it and then get the flavors. Oh, I forgot to do my onions. Okay, so we've got to cut these onions. Yeah, I, I buy red onions because um, I think they're sweeter. They've got a nicer taste than uh, regular onions, but we still use regular onions. We're just always buying red. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Mince. Can't get enough black pepper. Just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> and our thyme. It's funny that you always give it a little sniff. Even though you know what it is, you just want to get that little aroma. Like, I know it was rosemary, but just had to make sure and get that little whiff of it. I'm gonna add a little garlic, just a little to this. There you go. I'm gonna give you guys a tip actually. If you are gonna make this with beef and you wanna lower the fat content, boil your mince. Before you like, you know, simmer it um, on a pan, boil it and then pour out the fat. It works a treat, man. That's what I do. So if I'm gonna make it with beef, I'll boil the mince and then I'll pour away all the um, 
fat that uh, is left in the bowl. But obviously with uh, turkey mint, there's no need to do that. So, add my onions. Now before I add any um, sauce, uh, and that was the other thing that I forgot to mention, the reason why this is a healthier um, lasagna than you would typically make at home or even buy is, uh, well, in a restaurant they, they'll make their own sauce, but they'll make it very rich. Sugar, salt, you know? And that's the same thing when you go to a store and you buy um, one of those sauces, both the Alfredo sauce that you get and the, uh, the, the sauce for your um, mints, it's full of sugar, full of salt, you know, and um, the, the sauce, the Alfredo sauce is very high in fat. Mine's gonna be a lower fat version. So uh, yeah, those are some of the reasons why making it this way is healthier. You can only imagine the smells, uh, onions, peppers, uh, the, uh, the thyme, the rosemary, the flavor, it's just, it's gonna be fantastic. The, uh, the smells, so anyway, I'm adding my uh, spinach now and I'm actually gonna cover it because what that will do is the uh, steam coming off the pan will cook the spinach. I think my uh, mince is browned enough. Let's turn that right down, it's quite high. And let's start to add our tomato. So in terms of how much tomato you put, personally, I just do it until I see that there's a nice layer on top of everything, you know? So until I see that, I'm gonna keep adding the tomato until there's a good layer on top of everything. So everything's red. And then we're gonna add a full tin of tomato paste. I'm gonna have the full ingredients for this, guys, on the uh, on the video. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna cover that up, let that simmer for a bit. And while that's doing its thing, we're gonna get the uh, white sauce ready for the lasagna. So we're gonna have some almond milk. In fact, doing it right procedure, I'm gonna let this simmer before I actually add the other ingredients, so you're gonna have to come over. All right, so we're using uh, some uh, mozzarella cheese. We're not gonna use too much. This is organic cheese as well. Like I said, we're trying to keep everything as, as, as organic as possible. Organic Parmesan over here. Just gonna add a bit of that. And we're gonna add two eggs. Okay, so here's where we are. We uh, Mix up the sauce. Now the sauce you're gonna have to play play by ear. You know, you're just gonna have to keep mixing um, your cheese in until you get a thicker paste. Now normally when you make an Alfredo sauce, you're gonna use butter and you're gonna use thick cream and um, garlic, etc. And that's gonna give you that um, that that thickness in the cream that you're used to seeing in the, in the sauce that you're used to seeing. However, we used almond milk. So what we had to do is once we got it to simmer, we then blended it. And we've now got it into quite a nice paste that we're gonna add to our um, lasagna. I'm also gonna add some basil into that because uh, it's gonna give it some real nice flavor. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of basil in that and blend that up again. Mm, that smells good. Okay, so now we are going to lay out our lasagna. We're good to go. Okay, so all the ingredients are ready. We're gonna lay the lasagna out. Mm -hmm. This smells fantastic. You could add this with friggin' like spaghetti if you wanted to, and it would taste amazing. I never really know how much layers I'm gonna get. It always depends on the dish. This dish isn't that deep, so uh, I don't think we're gonna get more than two layers. But I do like it when you've got like a very deep dish and you can put several layers of uh, the lasagna sheets. Okay, so we've got our gluten-free, whole grain, organic brown rice pasta. And we're gonna lay that out. So nice, we're gonna get our sauce on top of that. Oh, 
another layer. And more sauce. Looks like we made just about enough. Spread that over. Okay, now some finishing touches. Okay, we are now ready to put it in the oven and it looks fantastic, doesn't it? I uh, can't wait to taste it. Um, like I said, guys, it's different from a lasagna that you'll find in a restaurant and I personally have never had one as nice as mine and that is because of the you know the flavors that I add to mine the olives the uh, the spinach everything you know you, you definitely do not get that in a typical lasagna now obviously people like what they like and they're gonna say I want a traditional lasagna not whatever you think you made but trust me this is awesome um, so uh, yeah let's put it in the oven Okay, and we're gonna leave that to cook. And uh, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just gonna tidy up all of this stuff because uh, although I do make a mess when I cook, I clean it up, you know? So let's get started. Okay, time to get the food out. Looks real good. Ah, there we have it. That smells real nice. Okay, so let's go with a nice small square. It's always difficult getting these out and keeping it pretty, you know, but uh, let's try it. Oh. Ah, not bad. Not bad. Still managed to keep it pretty much in a square. Okay, this is it. We're gonna taste it. First, I'm just gonna eat this olive because it's there. We can't be olives. All right, let's taste the lasagna. Ooh, hot, hot. Oh, but well, that's delicious. That is delicious. Shan? I'm gonna come over, try some of this. Get you a nice piece. It is really hot. Okay. So. Oh, I can see the steam. Yeah, it's blazing hot. That's why the guys are blowing it. Don't burn your mouth. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Mm -hmm. I love Sim. Lasagna. Oh, this is good. Like, man. you don't make it enough. This is good. That's really good. I've got a chunky mushroom here. Now you can serve me a plate, please. Love it. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> no lie. No lie at all. That tastes fantastic. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're all done. I'm going to dish a slice for Shan, cut myself a bigger slice to eat, and um, yeah, try it out. I'll put, I'll put all the ingredients in the video and uh, the preparation time and uh, everything you need is going to be in the video. So uh, try it out, let me know how it tastes. Honestly, if you, once you've eaten this, if you get it right, no lasagna that you have at any restaurant is ever going to compare because it's just too, it's got too much flavor, it's got too much substance to it, you know, the, 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 the chunky mushrooms, chunky olives, everything. So um, guys, I appreciate your support. Continue to follow my channel, continue to bring people to my channel and uh, subscribe, tell your friends and uh, more coming soon. Peace out.